Alrighty. <clears throat> so, my 100 millionth attempt to keeping this under 3 minutes and 10 seconds. Uh, I've been assigned the pre-tribulation rapture position. And in doing my research and researching a lot of the different arguments and counter-arguments that I came across, I actually kind of formulated my own argument because as I was reading through Revelation, I started noticing that there was all these references to those who dwell on the earth. And in every single instance, in fact, there's eight of them in Revelation, all the references to those who dwell on the earth are not descriptive at all and not possibly descriptive uh, of the characteristics of the church. And the one that I'll point to, for instance, because I, so many of us are familiar with it, uh, Revelation 11.10, where it speaks of those who dwell on the earth rejoicing and exchanging gifts uh, at the sight of the two witnesses being slain. And it goes on to say, uh, the reason for that is that these two prophets tormented those who dwell on the earth. Okay, this is, not, this is just one example of several examples where those who dwell on the earth cannot be the church. It's obviously cannot be the church because we're not going to be rejoicing over seeing the saints slain uh, like in the streets. And we're certainly not tormented by the witnesses. In fact, everything they say we completely agree with. So those who dwell on the earth, who else... You know, it's, it's very direct. It doesn't make any provision for the church. And when you combine that with the fact that the church is not even mentioned from Revelation 4 to 20, uh, yet there's all these references to all these terrible things happening to those who dwell on the earth all the way through the uh, tribulation period, it doesn't look likely that uh, we're going to be around for it. Uh, one of the arguments that some might use against that is they might say, well, yeah, but what about... Uh, uh, the 144,000 Jews, you know, uh, they dwell on the earth. The difference is they are, their provision is provided for them for their protection. Uh, in uh, Revelation um, 7 3, specifically, is where the account is given that they are sealed, which means they're protected. So, there's provision made for them in Scripture, and there is no mention of the church on top of the fact that there's many references to those who dwell on the earth in very broad, general terms. And in every single case, uh, it absolutely does not describe those who dwell on the earth. In fact, there's, there's several, including those who dwell on the earth, um, you know, begging for the rocks to cover them, to protect them from the wrath of the Lamb. That doesn't characterize or typical of the church either. So I think that those verses alone are pretty hard to explain unless we're not going to be here for the tribulation.